What is good everybody? Welcome to an Epic My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we do have some brand new wrestling action figure reveals for you guys. Not only do we have WWE, but we also have a couple AEW action figure reveals. This is day number three of our San Diego Comic Con reveals for WWE. And again, we do have some AEW in here that we are going to get into, guys. But uh, let's go ahead and start off, guys. Let's start off. We don't have near as much as we did yesterday, but we do have some epic stuff that I want to get through and talk about. So let's go ahead and dive in, guys. Starting off with the basket in his glory himself. We have Elite Series 82 Keith Lee in the silver and pink attire. This looks fantastic. I love the head sculpt. I like the hoodie that we're getting. The silver and pink is a great attire. I'm glad they didn't go with like a regular, you know, bland attire. They got some bright colors in here. The blue one would have been really cool as well. I am super happy to get a pink and silver Keith Lee figure. This looks fantastic. I am super excited for it. Um, I like the body mold. It does look like we're getting a new torso out of this guy. It looks like they're going with the Brock Lesnar style arms. It looks good, man. It looks good. Got the big knee pads on there. This figure is going to be a beast. He is going to be a beast. And uh, you guys can see the interchangeable hands there. I, I can't wait for it. This Keith Lee is definitely a beast. And it does say this is the chase figure. So we're going to get two different versions. I'm guessing that the other version will probably be in his blue gear. Or it's probably going to be in a black gear is what I would have to guess. But it does say this is going to be the Chase variant. So Keith Lee's getting a Chase variant figure in Elite Series 82. And that's that's a big deal, man. I'm excited for Keith Lee. He looks fantastic. But not only do we have Keith Lee, guys, we also have Elite Series 82 John Morrison. We knew we were getting an updated John Morrison. And this looks super clean. I like the way this looks. The only thing that I'm having trouble with is the pants. Now, I'm not sure. Is this going to be a long pants mold? And uh, not have anything over the cusp? I guess he has kind of changed his attire a little bit. But... I feel like, I don't know, I, I, I guess it's accurate, but uh, they did give him the Fandango torso, which I think is acceptable for John Morrison. Morrison. The dude is absolutely jacked. I like the head sculpt. I like what we got going on right here. I wonder if he is going to come with a cloth robe. I guess we'll have to see about that. Um, but I, I would hope he would come with a cloth robe or something like that. I hope he gets a nice cloth accessory in here. John Morrison is looking great, though. Great parts choices. Um, again, the lower legs, I guess it is going to be a longer pants mold. I guess he did kind of change his attire there. But um, I'm sure this figure will be amazing once we get it. I love that we're getting the uh, a sculpted belt on there. It's not just painted on there. So it's probably it's probably they're probably rocking with the John Morrison belt that they used to rock. Uh, with the crotch mold from Elite 4 and Elite 10, but John Morrison is also looking good. Another figure we are getting in Elite Series 82, guys, is going to be Rob Gronkowski. Yes, we are getting a Rob Gronkowski Elite. Say what you will. Um, I don't even remember him wearing this attire. I guess it's what he wore when he captured the 24-7 championship. Sunglasses, Mike, he was the... I don't I don't remember if this was his WrestleMania 36 like host attire. I can't remember. I thought he was wearing a suit then, but uh, I'm not a big Rob Gronkowski fan. Respect him as a football player. I think he was a great athlete and stuff like that, but uh, this is uh, not a figure that I'm really excited for. I'm just not a Rob Gronkowski fan, but it looks okay. You know, if you're a Rob Gronkowski fan, it's still cool to see that he's getting a figure. I'm just... I don't know. I'm, I'm not big on Rob Gronkowski, but you know, it is what it is. You know, if you want to pick up this figure, that's cool with me. But uh, he is in a plain white painted on torso. You got some pants there. 24-7 championship if you miss out on the Elite 78 or truth Here's another chance to grab it here with the Elite 82 Rob Gronkowski. Next up, guys, is going to be Eric and Ivar. These two look so good, man. I mean, these two look fantastic. These are up there for figure of the year, possibly, with all their details and all their tattoos and stuff like that. These things look incredible. These are in Elite Series 80, so not only do you get Eric, but you also get Ivar. And both of them look good, man. I don't think you can deny, like, we knew with, these, with this tattoo detail and stuff, uh, and the beard and just the head skulls. I mean, these are perfect, man. These are perfect. Besides, one thing that you guys probably already noticed is with Eric, his legs look a little bit weird to me. I think it's the lower legs that just kind of are off-putting with that, you know, Johnny Gargano kick pad problem. And the lower legs just look a little bit skinny or something. They're looking weird. I feel like if you replace the lower legs with longer kick pads and some different lower legs, it'll probably make the figure look a lot better. But the tattoos are crazy on these. Uh, the head sculpts are crazy. I think they look just like them. It's kind of crazy how much they look like these guys. The likeness is there. All the entrance gear. These are great figures, man. Eric and Ivar look really good. I cannot wait for them to be added to the collection. And speaking of which, guys, we got to add to our Undisputed Era, right? We talked about Bobby Fish yesterday. Today, we're talking about the one and only Kyle O'Reilly. 
right here with a brand new head sculpt in the War Games gear. This is going to be a part of Elite Series 80. So you got Bobby Fish in 79 and then 80. You're going to have Kyle O'Reilly with his uh, War Games gear with the camouflage, the silver, the black, the yellow. NXT Tag Team Championship, interchangeable hands. He's looking beastly. Uh, I like the head sculpt. I think it looks like Kyle O'Reilly. Nothing, no problems for me. You do get a rubber t-shirt, which we, we have plenty of t-shirts from the three-pack and stuff like that. So if you wanted to switch that in and out and do some different things, you could totally do that. But I think Kyle O'Reilly looks damn good. I, I am really happy with the Kyle O'Reilly. And you not only have the War Games attire, guys, but you also have his Chase variant, which is going to go alongside our Bobby Fish figure in the black attire with the yellow and white accents. You got some silver going in there as well, I think, somewhere. Uh, beautiful. I think all these versions of Kyle O'Reilly are beautiful. I can't wait to get all these versions of Undisputed Era on my Undisputed Era shelf with the rest of my collection of those guys because they look great. I think all the images of these guys are great. The War Games attire is great. We just gotta, you know, we are gonna get our fan takeover line Adam Cole that will fit right in with these Chase variants. Now we just gotta get the, the War Games version of Adam Cole and it will all be over with. But next up guys, we have a figure that I have mixed feelings about and it's my it's my boy. It's my, it's my prized possession right here we got the prize fighter guys we got stun owens stun kevin owens elite series 80 i don't know how to feel about this figure i feel like uh i have mixed emotions about it the one thing i will say is i feel like uh first of all the it's like the eyes or something there's something wrong with the eyes i feel like the hair and the beard are a little bit too light they're like a brownish light color when kevin owens has like a darker beard and he's got like gray in his beard and I feel like his hair is much darker than this. I'm not exactly sure. I know this is the same hair color they've been using on their Kevin Owens figures, but maybe it's just looking a little bit odd because the beard's so long. I love that we're getting the longer beard because I've been asking for that. I just think I'm going to have to repaint that. And there's something about the eyes. I just feel like the eyes have like, two, they're like too dark around the edges or something. But um, I do like that we're getting the stun at Owens stun. He's got boots this time instead of kick pads, which look really good. I like the red laces. Stun Owens stuns attire, and he does have all of his updated tattoos tattoos which is beautiful i will say the the live tattoo or the evil tattoo or the whatever you want to say on the left forearm looks a little bit big to me i don't know if i'll be able i don't know if i'll switch that out or what i'll do about that but uh i i like the kevin owens i just am gonna have to touch it up a little bit on action figure surgery but you do get a ladder you get a briefcase interchangeable hands and, uh, you know, I am looking forward to fixing that guy up and putting him in there because I, I love Kevin Owens, man. I'll definitely be picking up a few of these. I just am going to have to make some adjustments to it. And you could head swap it if you wanted, if you didn't want the longer beard. But I definitely want the longer beard and the fade haircut, so I'm going to have to paint that up a little bit. But that is Kevin Owens. And we also have, I think this is Elite 82. Let me go ahead and go ahead and check it for you guys real quick before we get you know, into this figure because I want to make sure that I get the right series for you guys. But next, guys, we do have Elite Series 80 Target Exclusive Collector's Edition Rocky Johnson. So Rocky Johnson will be the Collector's Edition for Elite Series 80, which is pretty cool. I think that's really cool that Rocky is getting his own figure. Really, really cool. I think that's pretty awesome. I feel like the skin tone may be a little bit too dark maybe for Rocky Johnson, but I don't know. I don't, I don't make the rules, Brad. I don't know. You guys can let me know what you think of that down in the comment section below. I like the torso they got going for him i love the attire that pinkish attire with the purple robe and the white boots looks good i do yeah I, I just think that the skin tone may be a little bit too dark here but i like i do like the lightness i like the mustache i like the hair obviously wasn't around for rocky johnson but i still think it's a really cool uh you know collector's edition figure to put out there but i do believe that is it for our wwe mattel reveals guys that is all we got for reveals from today for mattel wwe if they put up any more i'll definitely let you guys know but we also have aew actually figure reveals we have a couple here that were posted by jeremy padauer who you guys know who is one of the lead guys over there so the first figure that we have guys for the aew figure reveals is going to be none other than freshly squeezed orange cassidy making his way guys this is going to be aew unrivaled series three orange cassidy this figure looks brilliant and what i know about the chris jericho a uh, little bit of the bubbly ringside exclusive that we got. Comparing that figure to this, I just know how good this figure is going to be. Double jointed elbows. You got the double jointed knees. Great torso. Looks just like Orange Cassidy. You have the interchangeable hands where you can put the hands in the pockets. You have the thumbs up hand. And not only is he going to be coming with the interchangeable hands, guys, but look at this right here. You have a denim jacket and Orange Cassidy t-shirt. 
That is, uh, this is a prototype right here that they're showing off. This is not the final goods we're going to get, but a jean jacket and white Orange Cassidy t-shirt that will be going with our Orange Cassidy figure as his accessory. So this figure right here is phenomenal. This was shown off late last night. It was not shown until late last night, so I didn't want to post it. I wanted to wait until we got some other things to put with it. So Orange Cassidy looks brilliant, and not only are we getting Orange Cassidy to go in our AEW figure collections, guys, we also are getting a Pac in AEW Unrivaled Series 3. So we have a Pac and Orange Cassidy joining here. Pac looks great. I love it. I love the black attire that we're getting. It's very funny because uh, he pretty much wore this exact ring gear in WWE. Remember, we didn't get the black version. We thought we were going to get the black version. They changed it to the SummerSlam gold. Or was that WrestleMania? I think it was. Uh, it may have been WrestleMania. In the gold attire, in the gold and black. And then they switched it up on us because the prototype that we saw or the render image was black. So maybe this one will actually be black. I don't think Pac has changed his attire at all in AEW, but this Pac looks great. Two interchangeable head sculpts. He looks really fantastic. Double jointed arms. I mean, this this is beautiful, man. That The Orange Cassidy and the Pac figure, both of those look incredible. But not only do you have Pac and Orange Cassidy, you also have all the figures that we also show on today with uh, Elite 82 Keith Lee, Elite 82 John Morrison, Eric and Ivar, Kyle O'Reilly, Kevin Owens, Rocky Johnson. Really good day, you know. It's it's not near as much as we got yesterday, but I still think it is a successful day of reveals, and I'm I'm excited, man. I, I think it's still a good day. Nothing too out of you know out of whack. Nothing too ridiculously over the top, but I still am very happy with the reveals that we got today. And still to come, we have more reveals tomorrow, and we also have more reveals the next day. And I think we may even have reveals on Monday. So uh, it's Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Like we still have tons of reveals. I still think to come. So uh, stay tuned for tomorrow, guys. We're gonna have more stuff coming for you. Four new reveals and WWE Mattel figures. And if we get any more AEW figure news or WWE, I will be putting it up to you guys. But thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.